I'm sure you've seen the headlines, climate change is killing off insects. We're in the next mass extinction, a world apocalypse. People like Greta Thun Thunberg and others purporting that it's your fault because of the things you do and the changing climate, it's all your fault. Climate change gets blamed for a lot of things these days, inundating small islands, fueling catastrophic fires, amping up hurricanes and smashing Arctic sea ice. But a global review of insect research has found another casualty. 40% of insects are declining and a third are endangered and it confirms that it's your fault. This couldn't be further from the truth. Climate has been changing cyclically and catastrophically. Here's the last half a million years where we have 400,000 year cycles where temperature came up up to 12 degrees C, geologically instantaneous, and the insects did not die. And now for the last 8,000 years in the Holocene, we've been bouncing up and down about a degree C and they're claiming it's your fault that all the insects are dead because they're lying to you. It has nothing to do with the climate. Many seeds in the U.S. come pre-coated with neonicotinoids, one of the most common insecticides in the world. The chemicals are at the heart of what many are calling the insect apocalypse. Not climate change has nothing to do with you unless you use neonicotinoids. Now, neonicotinoids make the landscape toxic to bees, butterflies, birds, and even potentially larger mammals because they affect the entire loop in the biome. We'll get to that at the end. And this is why Europe banned the insecticides. Unfortunately, we didn't. In the United States, documents reveal a sophisticated information war kept them on the market. And these are the multinational corporations that are polluting your food, your water, and your soil. Toxic pesticides, not climate change, are driving the insect apocalypse based on science. The country's agricultural landscape is now 48 times more toxic to insects than it was just 25 years ago. And I'll leave you links to all of these papers and articles. The alarming decline of insect population is directly linked to toxic pesticides in U.S. agriculture and worldwide. In a new analysis, curbing pesticides is the key to reversing the insect apocalypse, not taxing you for carbon dioxide. More than 40% of the world's insects are on a fast track to extinction because of neonicotinoids. And in an assessment of acute insecticide toxicity loading, of chemical pesticides used on agricultural land in the United States, they've determined that it's the multinational corporation's fault, not yours. And those corporations include Monsanto Bayer, the number one producer of neonicotinoids, followed by Syngenta and then Nippon. These are all the corporations that are causing the insect apocalypse which began around 2004 and peaked in about 2016 with the direct correlation to the use of neonicotinoids worldwide. And that's what the graph you're looking at is showing. Now, neonicotinoids contaminate the entire ecosystem because they have very low residence times. In the short period after the run they run off, they affect everything. If you buy plants from Walmart and you put them outside, rain washes the neonicotinoids off into the food web. Farms and producers overspray. And most of this is washed off into streams and rivers, estuaries, affecting invertebrate creatures. Coated seeds affect birds because they eat them. And other animals that then eat the birds. It's a cycle of destruction. You want proof? Here's the annual fisheries yield of smelt and other small fish, including eel, which directly, uh, the decline is epic, and it has a direct correlation to the start of using neonicotinoids. To the left of the line, natural variability in populations. To the right, 
populations that are barely hanging on. Because of these toxic chemicals, zooplankton has even been affected. Think of all the marine life starving for the last decade or so because of the use of these chemicals. Stop spraying toxic chemicals, period. There's no need for them. There are many natural remedies, including permaculture. There are ways to help. You can plant bee-friendly plants, flowers, and grow your own food. If you grow your own food, you won't buy the poisonous food in the stores, and those systems will collapse. Avoid the use of all chemicals and pesticides in your gardens, period. Support your local sustainable farmers that follow these practices. Buy local and raw honey. Make a bee hotel and encourage your local garden store to stop selling the poison. I hope you got something out of the video. It's not your fault. It's the fault of the multinational corporations and the corrupt systems that you continue to support.